A very warm welcome to Christ Church for our service of choral evensong today. A particular welcome to all visitors and pilgrims and those of, us, those of you who are with us for the first time. And also to those of you who join us online from across the world. The order of service is in the white leaflets that you collected on the way in. And we continue now with our Psalms, Psalms 99 and 100. And you can find those in the small prayer books in your places on page 545.
The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights, beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out, To you, O people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. O simple ones, learn prudence, acquire intelligence, you who lack it. Hear, for I will speak noble things, and from my lips will come what is right, for my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous, there is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straight to one who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. Take my instruction instead of silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels, and all that you may desire cannot compare with her. Here ends the first lesson.
the Gospel of St. Luke, the sixth chapter, beginning at the 39th verse. Jesus also told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. No tree bears bad fruit, no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person, out of the good treasure of the heart, produces good, and the evil person, out of evil treasure, produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house, who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood rose, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it, because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. Here ends the second lesson. We turn to face east to say together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. 
The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy and all just works to proceed. 
Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Today is the day on which the Church remembers Theodore of Tarsus, a 7th century Archbishop of Canterbury, who was born and raised in Asia Minor and was educated in Greece, but he became a notable reformer, both of diocesan administration and of the religious communities of the English Church. And much of that was agreed at the Synod of Hartford, uh, the 1350th anniversary of which falls next week. So we pray for Justin, his successor in our own day, and for the bishops of the Church of England, and especially of this diocese, as they think through the challenges of Christian leadership in a rapidly changing society. Almighty God, giver of all good things, who by thy Holy Spirit hast appointed divers orders of ministers in thy church, mercifully behold thy servants called to the work and ministry of bishops, and so replenish them with the truth of thy doctrine, and adorn them with innocency of life, that both by word and deed they may faithfully serve thee in this office, to the glory of thy name and the edifying and well-governing of thy church, through the merits of our Saviour Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the same Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Last weekend was the Jewish festival of the new year and next Sunday evening marks the beginning of the solemn Day of Atonement. So we pray for the Jewish community within this house, this city and this country, remembering in penitence the anti-Semitism with which they all too often have to contend. We draw on their tradition of spirituality in the following prayerful poem meditation written by a contemporary Jewish poet and it highlights the theme of wisdom which was the theme of the first reading this evening. Love is the crown of your life and wisdom the rock on which you stand. Charity is your staff and justice your shield. Your deeds declare your kindness, and your works declare your devotion. Cry no more for your fears and your dread. Rejoice in your blessings and your healing, for this is the day that God has made, to raise your countenance and hope, and to deliver you to the gates of holiness. And may God give us with our Jewish brothers and sisters, the grace to live with love as the crown of our lives and wisdom, the rock on which we stand, for his name's sake. Amen. We hold before God the suffering of the world, remembering those in this country and elsewhere in Europe and North Africa who've suffered from recent floods. And we remember especially the people of eastern Libya and the ravaged city of Derna, where the damage of natural disaster has been exacerbated by years of armed conflict. After the floods, let there be rebuilding. After the violence, let there be reconciliation. After the suffering, let there be restoration after others have gone, have forgotten. Let us be the ones who remember. Amen. Finally, we commend to God the life of this house, ourselves and all whom we love living and departed. And among the departed, we remember our verger, Jim Godfrey. Bring us, O Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven, to enter into that gate and dwell in that house where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, 
but one equal light. No noise nor silence, but one equal music. No fears nor hopes, but one equal possession. No foes nor friends, but one equal communion and identity. No ends nor beginnings, but one equal eternity in the habitations of thy glory and dominion, world without end. Amen. May God the sender send us, God the sent come with us, God the strengthener of those who go empower us. As we say together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, heaven. Amen. And we stand for God's blessing. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.